the long-waiting iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max have been officially unveiled, and a hands-on experience with them took place within Steve Jobs Theater. These flagship models of the iPhone 15 Pro series feature a fresh titanium build, improved camera components, and other enhancements. Initial observations include the remarkable lightness of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, attributed to its newly introduced titanium frame. In terms of weight, here is the breakdown. The iPhone 15 Pro now weighs 187 grams, a reduction from its previous 206 grams. The iPhone 15 Pro Max now weighs 221 grams, down from 240 grams. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is noticeably lighter and more comfortable to hold than its predecessor, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is attributed to its reduced weight and new contoured edges. Additionally, the iPhone 15 Pro models feature a textured matte finish due to their titanium design, which is expected to enhance durability. Before we go any further, in order to support your channel, please like the video and consider subscribing to our channel for more fascinating content like this. The iPhone 15 Pro features an action button that can be customized in the Settings app. This button can perform various functions, such as enabling silent mode, activating the camera, and more. Notably, it requires a press and hold to trigger, likely to prevent accidental activations. The user anticipates using it primarily for camera-related tasks, where it can open the camera app and act as a shutter. Regarding the camera, it's worth mentioning that the iPhone 15 Pro Max has received enhancements to its telephoto lens, offering a maximum optical zoom of five times. My comprehensive assessment of this feature will have to wait until I have the opportunity to use the iPhone 15 Pro Max extensively. However, the brief demonstrations I witnessed at Steve Jobs Theater today appear to be in line with what I anticipated. Additionally, the new telephoto lens also enables a digital zoom of up to 25 times. Additional points to consider. One, indeed there is a USB-C port, confirming Apple's statement. Two, the color options were more appealing than anticipated, yet they still lacked significant diversity and excitement. Three, the reduced bezels are noticeable, though not as striking as initially expected. Over time, one may become accustomed to the presence of the black border, regardless of its size. Four, my encounter with the new fine woven cases for the iPhone 15 Pro was brief, but I found the material and tactile feel quite enjoyable. I fully support Apple's transition away from leather materials. I will share more insights about the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max as I spend more time using them. Initial impressions are quite favorable, particularly in regard to the newly introduced titanium design and the advantages it brings. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more tech-related content like this. Until next time, stay safe and curious.